In this tutorial video, I'm going to walk you through data driving a test case. Now, data driving allows us to pull data in from an external data set and repeat steps in our test cases. This is extremely useful because then I don't have to record individual test scripts for every different set of test data. Now, as you can see here, I already have a test case where we're launching our orders application and filling out the user's information for one order and then verifying the value of that order. And instead of recording every individual order that I would like to input, I can data drive this test. Now, as you can see, I already have an Excel file here with several different orders information and their respective total values. And what I can do is point to this test file, read the data in, and repeat those actions. To do that, all I need to do is highlight the actions that I would like to repeat. In this example, I'll repeat everything from creating the order to closing the order down. There's no need to repeat the entire test case, just the important steps for this data-driven portion. And I can right-click on those items and select Make Data Loop. And our Data Loop wizard is just telling TestComplete where the data lives and what to do with it. So the first step is creating our variable. And I will call this our orders data and then click Next. And here I get to choose the table type. So we can pull in from a table variable that's already created inside test complete. We could also pull from an ODBC connected database or just a flat CSV file or like I have today an Excel worksheet. So I'll select my Excel worksheet and then just navigate out to where my file lives and of course choose the worksheet from within our spreadsheet which is our data driven orders section. And here I could iterate through a subset of records but I'll leave this on everything from the beginning to the end of the file. And the last step is associating our columns of data with our test actions. So you can see here, I'm selecting my product, and I'll use the product column. And then all I need to do is go through all of the test steps and associate each column with the specific test step that I'm interested in. And you can see, all I need to do is go through the dropdown and grab each of those items. Now as we're going through, we've just been filling out fields. This last test step is our checkpoint where I'm verifying the total value of every order. Now instead of using that hard-coded value that we recorded, I want to use the total value from our spreadsheet. So we'll be using those respective columns for every test set. And then I can click Finish, and you can see that now we have a new data-driven loop where TestComplete's going to repeat all of these actions for every row of data from my spreadsheet. So as you can see, this test case that didn't take us very long to create, we've now loaded up and we're very easily reading in that data from our external file. Now the data is being read live at runtime, so this allows us to add in new data to our file and we don't have to worry about telling TestComplete that there is new data for our test cases. We just update our data and the next time this test case runs, we will use all of that new data. And you can see here all of the test steps showing us all of the iterations of the tests that we just performed and all of our passing checkpoints. So that is using TestComplete to data drive our test cases from an external data set. Thank you for viewing this video.